Okay, so we're we're back now. We got an important match. We got uh, Ujino Zanani. Uh, uh, we'll be calling him Zanani from now on. Yep. Zanani, yeah, that's exactly what Zanani, it's called in yep. Japan. Zanani. Yeah. Okay, and we have a uh, Setra, the German John user. So apparently, Setra beat Maki Lee Sushi three two in matches. Yep. And do you know what happened with uh, Zanani? He beat uh, X Live three to zero. So X Live being the Polish right. Hellblaze user. And this is actually the second, the second matches of. As it is frozen. Round one. Hmm? Ready, go. All right, we're in the matches here. And, and the back throw. And the combo. And he pulls he out of the combo. Um, John is really heavy, so he pulls out of a lot of stuff. He also could be the he has a rather nice hitbox. And again, back throw. Now he can see this combo. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Let's see if we can follow up. Oh, that was a He went for hit. the guard break, but um, he hit him like down the hit. Oh, it was low punch, normal hit, and he forgot to fuzzy over there, so he got thrown immediately. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Good. Really good. good Sabaki. And into a sweep. So the Sabaki gives him the fake advantage, the same as the full full punch. Back throw again, so he's just going back. Oh, he so goes for the shoulder there, oh, and he yeah. waits to see yeah. what the Zanani was gonna respond with. He gets hit with a combo there, and it's two-one to the Japanese. Yeah. Finishes it off with a free step. Oh, he's back throw again. So he really wants that back throw. This is more damaging throw for Akira against him. And there's a full throw, so he's mixing them up. Oh, low throw there, and he tried to do some type of throw, was it? Was he going to... Oh, he missed it. Did you see what happened there? Um, he went for a 2P, and Zanani went for a PP with Akira, yeah. and in mid uh, second P caught him. Let's see if they decide. So yeah, Setra sitting on the left there. He lost the first match to uh, Zanani. And... Uh, He's all in the winner bracket. Oh, you got a counter with that. Well done. And that gives the back again. Is he going to take him out? Not enough, quiet. Now he needs to watch the back of the, back of the arena. Yeah, he's trying to push him out there. Against the dodges. Uh, good rising kick. Oh, that's a nice. He does Biako and counter it. He wasn't close enough to the wall to get damage. Oh, counter it then he goes for low throw and it was blocked. He was missing his opportunity. And Normal throw. punch into throw. No fuzzy, unfortunately. He doesn't punish, manage to punish the whiff. And this is poking out each other again. A nice 2 p throw with Misaki. Is it going to be enough? Oh, well blocking oh. there. Is that accidental jump? Oh! Counter it normal, well guarded. Let's see if... Uh, oh, it's the shoulder ram, it's the elbow. Oh, he misses it. But it was good. Okay, he knows he's uh, dodging and getting the side. Low punches into the side throw. No hit, he's up his advantage, elbow and 2p, uh, the elbow I think is only like minus 2 for side block, so 2p afterwards is a decent bar option. So there's nothing there for Sabaki, he just blocks it. Oh, it's good back dash from Sabaki. It was a late response, but he got the counter. It was kind of like yeah. a delay. Is this going to be enough to take it? Yeah, yes. So nice. To match with the Zani there. This is on the Ani. Let's see what uh, Setra can do. Have you, have you noticed any, any flaws in uh, Setra's play against 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, full throw that was actually it. a delay throw there, because he did uh, crouch dash and then he got yeah. hit by it's, uh, that's, that's the weakness. If they crouch dash is really strong, but if you do it every single time, right. then people start to expect it. You're playing at a pretty high level against the Japanese there, so you need to get those guaranteed damages when you manage to, to duck the strings and stuff. Oh, and he's lucky there, he didn't take the force yeah. key. Oh, Whoa. nice back dash. That was good. And a good throw, full throw to take the round. He was expecting uh, the launch to kick there, definitely. And then he stood still to guard him. It was a good choice by the, by the German. Back throw again. And a three step. See, again, in that neutral battle, that elbow is so powerful. It's so quick, 30 frames. Oh, nice punch. To counter it. Charge punch, takes it right and the throw. See if we can follow up. Yeah, there's no rising attack. And that's it. That's 2-1. It's a final round now. Only one, one extra for Zanaki. He's getting in pretty well with the, the back throws there. The delay, final punch. I'm surprised he finished that spin off. It's a bit risky. Oh, that was good. Really nice backlash into the new punch. Oh, and he drops it. Body check, but not quite enough to finish the round. And he's been... Uh, so some counter hits, evade in an elbow. Nice match. That was hard. That was hard for Setra. I mean, he, was, he was even letting himself get hit on counter it and stuff rather than getting getting the, the guard break uh, combo. Yeah. There's no, he did it multiple times, but every, every attempt was uh, counter it. Yeah. So it was 3-0 uh, to Zanani, the Japanese player. And I wonder what's going to happen with, uh, there was another match that we were looking, that we were waiting for to start earlier, which was Cry against Kingo. Was that played now in a regular setup, or are they going to... Oh, and this is a big one, Cry versus Kingo. Okay, so we're bringing them up on stage, that's good. Yeah, and um, well, actually, uh, that, that move it seems safer than it is really, um, the the backflip into the stance. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I expected him to block it and then just use like an elbow or a launcher or something. But um, he just ate it at the end, and it does a lot of damage and counter hit. Yeah. Oh yeah, so they're getting himself ready now. Finally, so we got Kingo on the on the left. These two warriors have met each other three times or twice already in, in, in tournaments this year already. Yeah. First time you had Cry um, winning. Yeah, and then King O took it at, took it at um, WCG in Cannes. Uh, it was really good. They both put on a very good show. Both did very well against... Uh, well, they didn't do very well because they didn't win, but they both gave um, Itizan some sweats. Um, so now um, they're fighting each other once again. And we'll see how they do. I mean, um, if you're going to prepare for one match, either of them, it'd have been to play against each other, because if you're going to do well, they know you're going to have to play the other person. <laughs> exactly. Good thing it's a double elimination. There's still yeah. a chance for both of these to come back. It is, because right? it's a shame they're playing each other so soon in the tournament. But um, that's uh, the big tournament. The more people you have, the more likely you are to meet up really, really early. They were both seeded, yeah. um, but just unfortunately they're coming together, so so early yeah so we'll see how Lau gets to defeat Aoi you know she's doing all going into the stances and we we'll see if he's going to go for any low counters or if he's going to get away 
and make it our oh, with her moves here. It's going to be very exciting to see. He's starting and off and he goes forward dash into a back throw. Arnie oh, whiffs a throw and it's guaranteed damage. Oh, sweet. Try to hit take after normal. And a low sweep and he dashes forward to a throw. Very smart there. He's and a low making attack. sure the character and got back up. Guaranteed. And that move there, the 4 3 P, um, that move is the cause of many a nightmare among the Versus Fire player. Under highs, 13 frames, double handed. Wow, that's Good nice. throw straight. And a nice Abaki there. He's getting close. Oh, that was good. He watches to see the response there. He sees his not. Oh, and a nice mid counter. Takes it. And now they're watching each other. You see him, he's trying to make him whiff from side, but there was not enough uh, recovery frames there. He drops a pick throw. Let's see the offense. Oh, forward throw. See the response. He's going to go into immediate attack here while rising. Low punch, normal hits into forward. So that's into the Saito mix up. He waits because Aoi can get out of that mix up with a Ying Yang. No other character really can in the same way. Fortunately, Kingo missed his guaranteed damage there with the throw. The timing was a bit off. Sweep again. Cancels yeah. into a knee. He blocks it. A full throw again. Again, Sabaki. That's the thing. He's still he's still in advantage after that thing, so you kinda have to like get away from that situation and not attack. And there's so, yeah. spacing each other out at the moment. 14 Time's seconds, running. is that enough? And that's it. Yes, he's a light character. Perfect. Oh, oh big launcher. Doesn't catch the light. Like it was a um, was a cancel. So she, she didn't actually do the attack, so she was hit basically on a recovery frame. Oh, it, was a, it, it, looked was like. full, it was a full counter hit, so she was cancelling into another attack. Yeah, I think because it didn't look like there was a, a yellow counter. No, there was, yeah. yellow flash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in the sweep, take it. Oh, it's King the first match, and they're changing the stage. Too much worry playing on these open stages here. Yeah, and um, Aoi's good. Uh, she uses the stage as well. Uh, King O knows how to carry other characters with Aoi pretty well. And um, she's also got that replacement throw where she can change the position yes. very easily. Yeah. So uh, she's quite dangerous on any sort of stage you use. That was the thing. Like, um, Super sure Pie was sure. demonstrating in these uh, anti videos. You kind of have to watch out for the forward throw because the forward throw determines. She just determines which direction she wants to choose afterwards. Yes, you still, so it's the forward you still throw have to focus, yeah, especially during the, the open stages and close to the, to the walls. Oh, that's a good counter. It starts off well. And to into throw was nice. She realized that, that was okay. supposedly a set up throw towards the wall. And to and both. What's he going to do? They're watching it. That's one of the uh, prize tactics there. He often do. He often does like fuzzies, just standing there and to 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 check if the opponent will do any attack that you can also automatically block. Full throw again from far. Oh, he stays away from it. He's too far away to punish. Range game is pretty strong. So is Laos. Counter hit elbow goes for throw. So he gets to come up. So he cries being very tentative there. He has to wait because aoi has got that yin yang. So if you attack straight away and attack you. Oh! Oh, and he's not capitalizing. Oh, that was a miss. He's going to be angry about that one. Yeah. He did hit confirm it. It didn't follow up the thing where he was too slow. Oh. No, no punish. Oh, he takes it off the combo quite nice. And again, same thing again. Oh, and a second bit out. Lucky, but a full circle to close it out. Move on. Checking the situation. Kick counter sweep. Well, both of them there. Waiting to see the response to both. Uh, almost like uh, Itazan's trick. Okay, and back into the sweep. So one all in this.
Yeah, yeah. It's a tight match. You can see this one's looking like it's going to go all the way. Um, they both know each other very well, and they're both adjusting very quickly to what each other does. So it's just going to see who makes that final adjustment and takes it in the end. Throw escape. Whoa. Launcher. Aoi was crouching, so he didn't go very high then. Oh, and he kept side turn for ages there. There's almost no damage. And there's that Ying Yang. Forces into the wall. Yeah, plus. Let's see what he's gonna start with. He's gonna check. Low punch, dash forward to see. And it's a back throw. And the low attack's guaranteed. The ground attack is the same. Three punish right there. Excellent. And a Sabaki there to see what he did. Still, he hit him no matter what he tried. And 2 1 to Kingo now. People have been worried about doing uh, hike or crushes or any like launches and people's rising attacks there. They're wary of the timing there. It. Oh, oh, and he shows the range it. beautifully and he uses full full kick to go over the low. So he's basically adjusted there because in the last match, Cry won it by yeah. doing backdash sweep. He's gone straight over the sweep and caught the backdash with full full kick. Great adjustment. So he starts off the round with a low attack and then a full throw. Whoop. That was uh, a miss there from King of side with a guarantee damage. Jump on the tail. Stand still. Oh, and he's caught a side step there. He tries to wait to see if they nice safe. Low attack. Round two. Ready, go. No, and that's max damage. Oh, can't see. Ooh. Jumps right over the low. As you see, sometimes when you realize you can do more damage, you still do punch kicks. It's a habit every now and then. He hits the wall. Well, there he has to watch out for the throw really setup. Nice fuzzy. Oh, and he whips. Oh! Back throw. Tries to force him into the wall with that kick. No go, again. Nice evade and an elbow for Kingo. There's that new move there that really lets uh, Ari off the... the faulty... Uh, he's completing that combo before then you had some guaranteed damage, but there if you can just cancel into that thing and then yeah. still is a guessing game. Oh, and into the wall. That's a full wall combo here. Oh, so the low bound didn't work. Difficult to cry. Alright, now cry really can't afford to get hit again now. Back to the wall. Great to lose the throw. Oh, oh, is that enough? That's beautiful. Back there into uh, dodge. He went for a throw instead of some guaranteed punch kick or something even more powerful. Oh, oh. Splat from nowhere. It's close to the wall here. He's going to try and get some stagger. Oh, there. Yes. Oh, no wall hit. It's unlucky there. And I look to close it with a low kick. And I guess that was it. So 3-1. Yeah, Kingo takes it 3-1. Kingo. Quite confident in the end. Well, the match is well close. Right, so Combalamus uh, out of Finland. Yeah. He, uh, I wonder what character he's playing. He's using right gold now. at the moment. Okay. 
Um, I'm just watching another guy. I'm watching uh, G Day playing Chibi Tox. So I believe this is to get into the the top eight and winners. All right. Chibi Tox is that he's a pretty famous Fre uh, yeah, French player, French Akira, yeah? as he was once known. Even though I think he's always used Leon. I actually met him in London for the first time. That was back in 2003. Uh, Absolution? We no, was it, was, it was during VF Evo before the game came out. Okay. I think. Um, maybe, yeah, it was uh, after release. They had it in the arcade close to, uh, uh, play to you know, close to Tottenham Court Road. It was, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Namco? What, Wonder Park? No, no, not at all. It was close to uh, Tottenham Court Road and still on Oxford Street, that part. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know if it was called Play to Win or something like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 And they had the arcade game, and then I remember he was Chibitox was staying over at Brian's. Yeah, and then he was a Nakura player then, so I remember uh, that's the first time I met him doing Virtual Fight Evolution. Okay. Yeah. So and he he was gone for a while, like he he, he was. He wasn't really playing during the vanilla. I didn't actually see him, but he was playing no, he lots was. during Virtual Fight Four. Yeah, I don't think he played very much during vanilla. Um, sort of because I'm I'm I only really started with vanilla myself like seriously um, so I didn't really see him much in the vanilla period until the end of it and uh, yeah we got Itazan versus Combo Lamas Combo Lamas using Go and Itazan of course using um, Shim oh he yeah, catches That's him with a second hit nice uh, Combo Lamas has got to make this count because Itazan is quite famous for downloading people that quickly. Oh, he goes for that one where he can back tap. Or back crouch tap. Yeah. So it is that no, no drinks. No it? drinks. He's keeping him at zero drinks, which is really important against competent centers. Um, I think Shun basically starts as a low tier character. Once he gets about 10 to 13 drinks, he's absolutely top tier yeah. in my opinion. Oh, and really nice. Four, six, um, he kicks the back there. So if he carries on trying to spam the kick, he's going to pop him out of that. Oh, he gets his first two drinks now. He can start to do tricks after four drinks. That's when he can get like a proper string. And then six drinks is crucial for... Yeah, six drinks he gets Chow one. Oh, and... Oh, yeah, nice. Two rounds. Yeah. Round. Just two rounds, yep. He's up to three drinks now. Oh, like that. I was, um, oh, and that's five drinks, is it, for him? Oh, six. He's up to nine drinks, and that's a big boost. It's a completely different match now. Yeah, and nice. two, takes, two drinks off two in that drinks. combo. He sacrifices a little bit of damage. Hold down. Oh. Yeah, so... Ready, go. To him. We'll see what he does. Has he seen enough those two rounds to completely destroy combo damage? Um, it's different now, soon as 13 drinks is a completely different character, so the tower one changes him significantly. He's up to 18 drinks, so this is about to get crazy. 21 drinks. So, and that annoying trick there even has only yep. minus 8 after you block the second second string. Well, that was a smart way. Yeah, he was very smart. I think he takes a drink as well, takes two, in fact. And he whips the move, and that's never good against a player with the Itazan's reflexes. Now, I was watching the Itazan play Cry in the casuals a bit earlier, and you know Cry, um, Lau's got that side to mix up from the throw. Yeah. Itazan was just uh, making you doing the move that makes Shen lie down. So he was taking the elbow, uh, and then right. he was on the ground, yeah. completely avoiding the mix up. It's so, so clever. And then, you know, they've seen it enough in, in the arcades to all know about it. Right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're not really going to do anything he's not seen before. So we're just going to have to play really well. Hold down. And now there, he, yeah. he ends it with that one. Yeah. So he knows he's going to hold down there. That's why he's catching with the side kick. So it's really important there to stand up straight away. That one. Good luck there. And good evade. Good again, max damage. Combo Lavis knows his combos. Let's see how he's gonna end it. Yeah, and yeah, um, whipping hives is not uh, not the way forward. He's really oh, punishing those whipped hives. And now he's got ten drinks, so he can just do that one. Yep. Yeah. So all three directions, you're gonna see some drinking if he wants now. Oh, and this is big damage. 
Uh, Itabashi is looking quite, uh, what's the word for it, imperious at the moment. He wants the tournament. Didn't manage to win the same cup, the American leg. Um, very strong players out there. Fell to uh, GC, I believe. I think GC is very, very good. Yeah, that was, uh, that was great how GC changed up his game when he had to play him in the... In the was it the semis at the end there, or was yeah, it the semi, yeah. semi final? Now, um, at that time of year, um, Itazan was playing a lot of Soul Calibur. Especially in the build up to Cannes, there was a lot rising, a lot of money going around Soul Calibur. I don't think he's playing, he's just playing more VF than what I've heard at the moment. So, um, I'm seeing him online on VF lately. Yeah. Yeah, I see so, him um, on there. I think he's actually been putting some practice in, which is scary. Even Code Corridor is also online. Yeah. Going VF a lot. <laughs> yeah, so I was I think, is he coming here? Is he practicing to come here? I was wondering. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been yeah. really interesting. Yeah. So we'll see. Nice, he gets a combo off of that. Forgings only. Goes oh. to the wall, let's see. Oh, oh and, and this. Yes. This wall combo from that. Oh, he manages to get One five round minutes left. off the, the KO anyway. It's the final round for Combo Lamas unless he takes it. Oh, that one you have to crouch so you can get a throw or a PK or something. Yeah, so important if you can to find switch ties. Oh, he misses, guaranteed. That was unlucky there. Oh, and that's, that's, that's it. So 3-1 and uh, Itazan won, yeah, and I uh, asked him how many players are going to come from Japan before and uh, apparently that in Japan there are only two people who are sponsored by Razer, it's only still Fudo and uh, Itazan, okay. yeah. And then you have uh, Latif, the Viper player, yeah, yeah, from he's sponsored as well, but that's international. Yeah, so I think there's a, yeah. a person sponsored by Razer over here as well. I think, um, who is it, Problem X? I think over here okay. we have a Street Fighter player right. sponsored by Razor. So, so um, I mean, we're still in the tournament. What did you see from uh, Itazan's play there that you, you kind of noticed? Did you see any? Um, uh, well, um, one thing I picked up from watching him and uh, playing against him, he plays really, really fast. There's no gaps. Um, if you start dropping frames, he notices and he'll take advantage of that. He'll just launch you clean if you start dropping frames. He doesn't give you any time to rest. And he's not really afraid to do things that some people might even sort of consider a bit cheap. You see, he uses that that low kick yeah. a lot. He will use it to knock you over and then apply like a really strong wake up game. Um, he will use Shun's uh, people forget Shun as an 11 frame punch really fast, and he will just use that a lot. Um, after the punch string, he can do a mid, which is optional. So he makes you wait after the punch string because he delays the mid. The mid is safe. Um, so he just plays really smart and really makes you as as the player like take your time and really think it takes a and the other thing is he adapts really really fast right so um you uh, you're really fighting a, a proper battle if you're playing against him because um whilst he's downloading you you're trying to adapt to all the things he's doing so much experience it's really going to take a lot of time to get to the point where um you have your own experience and you can show him stuff that he hasn't seen or anything like that. Right. But how many, because he seems to be doing, in the beginning of matches, he'd rather do the two drink throw instead of the four drink forward throw, right? Yeah, because um, everyone's going to break forwards at the start, right? Yeah. So it's better to have, uh, I think it's the gamble between two drinks and none. Yeah. People don't tend to break neutral throw as much uh, against Shun now because um, he has a, a forward throw that gives him four drinks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, get, take the neutral throw, get your two drinks. Uh, get, yeah, two drinks op opens up uh, some possibilities for him because it's very easy to go to three or four from two. Uh, um, and then once he's there, he's gotten started, and it's hard to stop him once he gets started, as we saw. Right. So, I mean, you got two characters. You have, obviously, you've got Vanessa's sub. You know, I, I use so loads of characters, it really annoys but the other London players. you know, when it comes to playing here at a tournament, would you actually go for anyone, uh, any other character than those two? Obviously um, Vanessa, 
And then you have Eileen. Now this, this tournament, I just wanted to only use Eileen just to sort of see how I'll do. And I, I don't think I played particularly well, to be honest. Uh, mm-hmm. It wasn't like sort of to my maximum potential. I, I, we had lots of casuals yesterday. I played yeah. a lot better yesterday. I played against Cho for a bit earlier today. And I played a lot better than I played in the tournament at any time against Chofu I took some matches off him yeah. um, but yeah it happens uh, I had like a joint uh, three way tie and on the, the count back I was eliminated based on the oh so you were out of uh, the uh, group play yeah oh, I, was, I went out in the pool so many pe- different so yeah. people were just winning yeah like, randomly you know, yeah, you know. yeah so my group was really tight um, Sidon did really well yeah. so we got obviously Kingo is back here yeah, you know he and, beat and we have, on the other side, we have Ash at Sushi. Um, this is um, a Japanese guy. He was living in London, and no one knew until he signed up to Sushi Cup. <laughs> and then um, once we saw people saw his name yeah. down, people started investigating and contacting all sorts of people. Yeah. And then eventually, like it turns out, he's he's lived in Australia. He knows, knows Mike. Right, so I've heard and so. Then, yeah. <laughs> And then we got in touch with him and we invited him down to our casuals and he's, we've been playing with him recently and he's, um, he's really good, really nice guy. He uses Akira and Leon, both characters have absolute teeth <laughs> and he knows all the skanks. And um, yeah, he's really helped us sort of develop our games. And um, yeah, it should be really interesting. Now these two, I'm surprised they're playing again so early because um, they were in the same pool. Which uh, okay. at Sushi yeah. won. Because this is the same, if, if, if I manage to take up Mr. in my next time, I'm going to be meeting uh, Jide, yeah. which we were also in the we same in the group. Same so I reckon this, the third stage of the double elimination is going to get you back into playing the same people in your group. Yeah, yeah I think that's what's going to happen. I'm not sure how, how that works out, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got the French oh, people so, sticking so, yeah. together. Sagata Kenshiro, was a, another really nice guy, really funny as well. He's always got jokes. It's funny, yeah, because now, okay, so now you got Atsushi, he's here, you got a Japanese guy here in, in the UK. Yeah. And then I remember there was, uh, there was a Wolf player back in, during Virtual Fighter 4. Yeah. Was, it was also a Japanese guy that played Wolf. Uh, he was... Not you. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> there was this, uh, I can't remember his name. So, oh, yeah. so he's, he's playing the whole. Uh, the so Sagata Kenshiro, French player, saying Kingo oh, must right, okay. wi- win. He says he's also known as Queeno. <laughs> The machine, yeah. I can't say that last yeah. one. The stream that he said Kingo's other name is. But apparently, yeah, he's, he's gonna treat everybody with their, their accommodation bills for the hotel yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like that's gonna happen. <laughs> but um, yeah, the match is ongoing. Now Leon's actually really good against Aoi because of his lows. He was really strong in lows. He right. really discourages Aoi from using the yin yang. He's a really good part. So this is a uh, deliberate choice. You reckon? Uh, well, he uses yeah. he uses um, Leon and uh, Akira very well, both of them. Uh, but I think he's Leon is stronger anyway. So if, if he's going to use one character in the tournament, I imagine it will be his uh, Leon. But you can see he's, Leon is very solid. I mean, Le- you know, he has his own type of uh, guard crushes as well, and Sabak is his thing, you know. Yeah. It's like uh, he goes for his kicks are back his, he's got guard crushes, he can go over highest pretty confidently. He's got yeah. a very good half circle again. He's got a full circle in there, he's got a lot of tools. And he's probably the best character if, if, if the opponent's back is against the wall. Yeah. But when he does eat the uh, Yun Yang there. And um, nice Oki. Good wake up game there for Kingo. Neutral throw broken. So, oh, oh, he continues it and he gets it. Yeah, at one stage you need to gamble, right? And yeah. then he tries to do he a long it's, it's a high as well, yeah. that follow up. Yeah. So it could have been ducked and punished. Well, that was for the rounds. Yeah. It's very risky, but it pays off. Really nice. The first match goes to Artsy for you. And they, they keep, they're both uh, content with this state. No, they're not. So, okay, I believe so, one um, wanted to change stage here. Yeah, yeah. so it's Kingo's choice whether they change or not. Um, Alright, let's see. And then, yeah, if any one's not away yet. Uh, 
I'm, play, I'm playing uh, next, so we're going to have another commentator coming. Okay, yeah. uh, well, uh, I'll hold it down on my own if no yeah. one shows up, but yeah, thanks yeah. for joining me. Yeah, well, you know, I'll hopefully we'll, we'll play some catch rules yeah. and stuff tomorrow, but now, yeah, you got the important yeah. match. Win quickly okay. and then come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got um, back row from Ash. And into the mix up, King of Darts. That's the high and then punishes. He's playing on the edge. And now King is back to the edge. Is there anything else? Ah. Uh. Elbow, two feet. Punch kick, side turn, and then 4 3 P for the stagger. Counter hit 2 P. Oh, and he drops the combo from the full throw. On a really good Yin Yang there. Into a combo. Are you still in? Okay. So I have G Day joining me here. Good combo there. 2 P blocks. And he just goes for the oh, one. He missed it. Counter hit, but yeah, he misses the combo. Underneath the high, nice. Slowly eating his way back in. Oh, over the low. Oh, wow. And a cancel into the kick. That was tense. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you're just joining us, um, as I believe some people are, the Leon user Ash, he won the first match. Uh, quite confidently as well. I think it was 3-0. Yeah, so sure. Kingo is up. And um, yeah, side turn skanks. Wait, yep. oh, we can counter that. Back turn counter. Doesn't work in IOE. Yeah, that's that's even since VF4. It's a and Kingo <laughs> knows that. So. Oh, and oh. he punishes him. Oh, oh okay. PPP. PPP yeah, way out Even doubt PPP. <laughs> yeah, I've always been taught that. I know. Great to throw. Goes for the guard break. He starts, punishes the with high. Oh, I didn't break the stagger there. Oh, and he drops the combo. And that's yeah, reversal. He's not maximized damage in that kick reversal, but he's alright. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. start too, really, so. It's really strong. He's, I think he's got maybe just to start sweeping now against him, so. So Kingo's really getting used out of that Yin Yang now. Um, I don't know if Asushi is going to change his strategy here. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Oh, so oh, instead of going for the guard break, he goes for the mid, gets the counter hit. Very nice. Back throw. Alright, so staying in the middle of the ring, not taking it to the edge. Of course, both characters are very good at using the environment. And Ash takes the first one. So. Nice guard break. Oh, oh and he he drops the combo. combo. So um, when you're playing on a lag yourself, and you don't usually, sometimes you press that P too early, <laughs> nothing comes out. Yeah, and I so. think that's what we just saw. Um, doesn't really punish the 1K very well. You know? And that doesn't work, you have to do full, full kick, kick there. He definitely wanted to ring out. Oh, oh well he should have taken it there. Uh, he, he had no idea that was going to hit like that. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's costing the round. Yeah. Sometimes you can't know. Yeah, so. Even just a low kick would have done just a little bit of damage, but... Oh, and a really nice combo. Out now. Oh, he's so wearing he waits, the yeah, yeah. So he's, he's ready for that now. Back dash into the people's cave. Let's see what King Oka could do from here. Neutral, neutral throw. Oh, oh, and then just a clean launch from nowhere, and he drops the rest of the combo. So this is not like that CC at all, to be honest with you. Nope. Yeah. Even this oh. full forward P. It's half circular. If he had blocked it, he still have knocked him out. It's yeah. Very good pushback in that move. Punch, kick, punch. Now they played in the pools, so I'm surprised they're playing again so soon. But um, Atsushi won that. So, so this one quite convinced me. I've heard. Yeah. Two, two nil, so so now this one is uh, best of three, best of five, first to three. Whereas in the pools it was best of three or first to two. Oh, and a nice counter. And, and again, again. <laughs> King has got oh, combos missing. Oh. Neutral throw breaks it. Goes for throw again. 
Locked again. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Free. And 4 3 P to go under the PPP. I think he's getting advice from, from his fellow Frenchmen. Yeah, where are the other Japanese players helping mm -hmm. that <laughs> he's like, Because he's not living in Japan right now, they just abandoned him. It's kind of oh. raw. So did um, Kingo beat Cry? Because I was playing my match. So Kingo did see. beat Cry. He oh, beat 3 1. Uh, okay, sorry. Oh. I'm telling you, lose is just full of. <laughs> oh, so Ash, Ash is like on the random stage. You yeah. just went and picked the stage, like just picked it raw. Oh wow! <laughs> so it was I, I don't know what he just picked the stage. It was supposed so to be turned off, as far as I know. But. Yep. So that's what happens when the rules aren't set up properly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. The big Guaranteed. two seven. <laughs> Down the track. This is gonna hurt. No. Oh, and he drops he's it again. I think he's having input errors, uh, or I don't know. But he's, he's done the same command again and again, so. Uh, he's using. He's using trophy stick. Ah, oh, I see, the razor one, right? Yeah. You can hit the wall just. Yeah. If he had. Oh. If he had hit check that, that was around. He's gone to follow up. Yeah, it's not Gooey, it's, it's, it's G Day. Goody, Goody's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before I was Joe Misashi, which is not me. Oh, he could've got for a bounce for a bigger combo there, but... Oh, I don't even know what happened there. There's teleporting all over the place. <laughs> we got, it's, it's, it's turning into Naruto, we've got replacement techniques. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Ash takes the second round. A right. lot of wall pressure from Ash. Yeah, oh, and we see person. people in the... Um, in a, uh, uh, stream chat saying he's not used to offline timing. No, he is used to offline timing, but there's a difference between offline and completely lagless offline, which is what we have today. Oh, nice. Oh, and he wow. doesn't follow it up. I think he was expecting a wall hit. Didn't, didn't materialize. Mm. Punished as that was Failed evade, that's all. Yep, so PvP. That's, that's guaranteed. Is, that's minus 13 on block, actually, so he could have gone for a bit more than the throw. Kick, kick was there. Because he wanted a quick knockdown. But if you hit throw, Kingo rarely misses that. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 <laughs> it's the Kingo he, special. He don't miss that. He practiced that one all day. Oh, and oh. he's just gone through the raw elbow. Oh, that's gonna be and a full combo. It. So that's two two. Ah, oh. oh, so as if she's changed the stage, it's working. Worked for him. Mm -hmm. Kingo saying he wants to change the stage again. So yeah, that, well, that stage is very good for Leon. But this stage isn't bad for Leon either, to be honest. So. You've got walls or ring outs. One of the two. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, Leon is good with all stages. Okay, yeah. That's that's one of the reasons why I think in my mind he's a top tier character. He takes advantage of any environment very well. Oh, oh nice. Very well, he waited very well. I don't think that's a max damage combo, but King has not tech and he punished lack of tech. I think he was worried about a setup, so Oh, that move doesn't work back to him. Wow, if the hit throw connected, he would have changed over. And Leon would have been facing uh, the edge, so. And a really good evade on the low move. Neutral throw, knock him down. Both characters' range games are quite good. And again, that whilst rising <laughs> is King O just rinses that move. And it goes under a lot of stuff. Yeah. And that's a unique step move from uh, Ash there. Now he's away. got it, there you go. So Kingo doesn't tech. Yeah, if you don't tech. Oh, oh and you can't yin yang the full circle of mid. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. Fake sweep into Oh neutral front. Okay. Kick cancel, or it was bucked anyway. Okay. Looks like Ash yeah. might take this easy. Break the stagger. And, and he takes it 3-0, takes it. wow, so... So 3-2 to us. Dang. So Kinga goes into losers, and... Atsushi, oh. as he's known as. So Ash, Atsushi is his name, right? <laughs> uh, Ash, it says Ash on the screen, <coughs> we call him Ash. We've yeah, got another we got, Ash We've we got our very own Ash. Yeah, we've so got our own Ash. You know, he just can't come in and just claim Ash, you know, so... But, as he's not in the tournament. We had about what 50, 50 odd players. So, yeah. 50, yeah. So, and then they went into a 32 um, double elimination bracket. For those that don't know, mm, there's a lot of nerves as well. So it is tournament time. 
Yeah, there was there was um, pool we had matches. Pools earlier. Yeah, so I know some of the Americans have just probably woken up and started watching the matches. Yeah. So. You know. We've got Marlon chatting away on the stream as well. So. Uh, we have, uh, <laughs> oh, we have, uh, yeah, so we have Itabashi versus Trophy. Ah, so like good, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Someone, someone's gonna be sent to losers. So yeah, you know. bare, bare people are laughing. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. You know. yeah, let's have some of them Japanese knocking each other but out. I believe this is would be top eight though, isn't it now? No, no, we're gonna do top eight in the uh, in the theater. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that is gonna be sick. Yeah. Yeah, because mm. we got an actual proper theater. Yeah. Um, really, it should just be locked to random yeah. stage, yeah? So when you go into verses or in the options, it's like stage select on, it should be off. Yeah? And then whoever loses can select change stage, but it will give them a random stage. If they're doing that, then, but that's because that's of the options, it's on that they can. Yeah. But really, that should just be it should off. Have been off. It should be off. Turn it off. Turn it off. So just go to menu. If, 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 they've had, if, if the matches have been played and that's done already, it's done, that's right. Okay, yeah? yeah, but you should just turn it off. So we just got um, discussions about um, stage changes because someone on the um, tournament setup has left uh, stage select on. So um, I was suggesting they turn it off. So if you want to change the stage, you should just get a random one. Yeah, tricky. I know. In 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 Japanese tournaments, they they just allow them to pick the stages, but yeah. But they tend to do more one one and off. Yeah. So in Japanese tournaments, it's one and off. It's a team tournament, so you got a team of five. Uh, your team members just lost. You come on, and you pick a stage. Yeah. So so that's a bit different. But if you're playing one versus one, um, I win a match. My partner, my opponent is using um, Wolf, and they pick a taco stage. <laughs> I'm pissed. So, all right. Um, Chofu is going to use uh, Taka. Now, Taka Rashi is a stupid character. Chofu, <laughs> Chofu seems to be smiling. Both of them seem to be smiling right yeah, now. You know, it's because they know <laughs> Taka Rashi is a really stupid well, character. They're, they're, they're buddies as well. So yeah, yeah, I mean, Chofu wants to shake his hand and then it was like, nah, man, nah, yeah, they shake so hands already. Did you see what Oh, you, it was a, an old famous Virtual Fighter 4 Final Tune tour tournament. And um, it was a little bit of beef between um, Itazan and Chofu. And um, when Chofu lost the match, he threw his card into the crowd, <laughs> <laughs> and he never picked Lau again after that. Apparently, so so the story is told. So, playing against you know. Lau today. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so he's going back on that. All right, we start with Taku's throws just do big damage, um, and they sold her quite well as well. So again, another throw. This is the back throw. Yeah, so this will be the end of the round. And bang, 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 and that's it. Man. Oh. Now, um, I can assure Daydream that for Shun, Taka versus Shun is not fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until Shun gets a stupid number of drinks, he has problems knocking the big uh, guy down. Full so. throw again, yeah. look at the damage. Is and this that saying was what he was worried? <laughs> Alright. Oh, catch him and him down. Is he going to go for the drink? Or no? Just goes full. Oh, nice. Now can drink. All right. Now, when he gets drinks, Shun is a different character. He gets access to new moves and he starts to do more that he does more damage on yeah. A guard break hits him counter hit, so he doesn't earn much from that. He's up to seven drinks now. And we saw this against Combo Lamus. Um Itazan was losing and then in the third round he won it and he managed to get about eleven drinks that round. And then <laughs> uh combo was never in it for the rest of the match. Right. Low kick again. That Shun's low kick goes under a lot of stuff. It does very evasive. So um, all right, he's got he's got 12 drinks, so that's a good amount of drinks for. I'm shit. just gonna call that move the Twin Pistons. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> oh, whiffs a throw. He goes See that went under the Twin Pistons there, so I yeah. respect it. Oh, and a hit check on the Twin Pistons. Hit the first. And he, instead of going for the normal uh, triple punches, three punches, he's gone for that move there to take the. Uh, and that's the back throw to take it. So. Ends with 15 drinks. <laughs> So what is Chofu going to do? Is he going to change yep. character? I gonna... thought Taka was S tier. Yes, Taka is S tier. So. Uh, Taka is different though. He changes the game completely. 
Oh, see, like, this this trophy's just dirty, man. Look at what he's just done. He's just picked the, the tackle stage. I thought it was supposed to be tackle. I told him to turn it off, but they haven't. So, yeah, trophy can just be... Trophy can just be dirty. It's alright, they're friends. They're yeah, right. yeah, they're alright. <laughs> if it was me, I'd be cussing. <laughs> well, in that final tune tournament, they didn't they did look like friends. So after <laughs> that one, I can tell you that. So, alright, so he's gone to four drinks with that cool throw. Gets up, twin pistons immediately, counter hits. A different follow up this time, but still takes a drink. And again, takes another drink. Sobers and again. Yeah. Oh. So he's down to one drink. That's what you want to keep, Shun. Yeah. Just little drinks as possible. Keep him yeah. under six, because that chow one is a yeah. good, good move. Why well, he's not undefeatable, even when he has drinks. Yeah. You just want to keep him on so. So you see that one KK does not knock Saka down. Not until Shun gets a heck of a lot of drinks. He's going to head back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's going to take more. Oh, okay. Gets up quickly. And it always looks like he has advantage after that. You have advantage because he knocks back, but... Oh, and a really nice crash into the throw. The equaliser. <laughs> he doesn't want to hit the wall. Okay. And that throw is available to him because he's got more than 10 drinks. He's up to 15 now. Was mm -hmm. oh, it all guaranteed? Yep. Because of the... Uh, yep. Because Tack is a fat... <laughs> <laughs> into the wall. Okay, no bounce. Yeah, I thought he was going to down, but no, he just went... Decided to go for drinks, but... I think when Shun's up to 18 drinks, you, have, you might be after the side to b forget about the drinks and just fight. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, here we go. Into the wall. And again. It's a string. Oh, it just caught him back there, Shin. Tack is 2p. Yeah. He's got a long range, yeah. but it doesn't really scrape the ground. Oh. So Shun was safe there. Again, that 2p. Long Just range. try to keep Sean on the ground. And there's that string. Oh, he hit the first two piston. Strong evade from this. Keep him side turned. And again, the twin piston. Down to 15 drinks, so he loses a string now. Oh, the low oh, kick. That's low kick. Oh, he's going to get the back pick up. Oh, oh and that's it. a really nice pick up. Oh, so he's taking wow. that. Right. So, so what's uh, Itazan going to do? It's about the Zangief. What is he going to do in terms of stage? I'm assuming he's going to go to change stage. Yeah. And then, um, but what is he going to change it to? Let's see. I imagine a nice big open one. <laughs> yeah, this is why stage selection will be on, because people mm. take too long picking. Mm. Alright, so we've got um, a square 12 by 12 stage. And um, Shun uses the walls very well, actually. Um, but against Taka, I guess because of the, the Taka stage, you, you reach the wall a lot quicker than you like to sometimes. No, Taka does not get launched by the. Uh, full engine. Sorry, 16 drink low. Almost punished the rising attack there. And that's going to be that's it. Well, no, and, uh, yeah, it is. That's a lot of damage. You already know, innit? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you think about it, jab throw from Tack is like 90 damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, your character's off. It's scary. Knocks him down. Quick punch in from Tacker. Oh, and a nice launch off of me. It's actually hasn't teched in a while. Oh, he just went for it anyway. Yeah, he's he's throwing it out. But he's up to eight drinks and he takes a, takes a round. Out. And takes a drink there. Down attack. And again, he doesn't hit check it, or maybe he's just he's searching for like <laughs> counter attack. Counter hit goes through throw. I don't think Itazan wants him to, wants to be thrown, so he's attacking a lot at the moment. Yeah, Trophy is just and keeping he, it very yeah. simple. There we go. He hit checks. Oh, he misses the only three drinks that round. Underneath. Two Tower one. <laughs> he gets access to that after was it eight or six drinks? Uh six drinks and then the second part is eight drinks. Oh, okay. And he's up to 15 this. now, so um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Twin pistons. Never say no. Oh, uh, this is the combo, bro. Drops the combo. So, uh, it's, it's not a particularly tight combo, is it, or anything? No, it? no. So it is and takes that combo really, really, sorry, that round, that match. He takes it really quickly. 
Trophy's going straight back to the tackle stage. Yeah. <laughs> He's not messing around. Yeah. He, he wants this match. It'd be funny if he wins this just because of this as well. So. Round one. Mm -hmm. Ready, go. Off the wall there. Yeah. Oh, and straight six drinks right off the bat. Can be guaranteed yeah. combo. Yeah. Oh, and he goes for drinks rather than oh, and he wow. manages to finish with the set kicks. Up. Like, so he, this guy is ready. He knows yeah. his stuff. So I <laughs> thought, oh, he's a drop combo. Nah, man. <laughs> he ain't dropping nothing. He knew. Mm. knows. I was, I was saying this to Gooty because we were speaking a bit earlier. We were saying that um, he's been seeing Itazan. He sees he's, he sees him on his Xbox Live account, not really playing VF that much. But he says recently he's been playing a whole load of VF. <laughs> so he's, he's obviously come ready. Yeah, for this so, tournament. He's been practicing. Yeah. And that's um scary. <laughs> you know. He doesn't. He shouldn't be allowed to practice. He should just be forced you know. to come. Maybe, maybe that was the GT. Yeah, say, yeah. America, you know? Thank you for that GT. Then yeah. you came. You messed us up. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five drinks now. Yeah, which is a crazy number, and he's he's getting an extra percentage from every drink. Remember, so twenty-nine. Yeah. That is a very pink-looking shirt. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. <laughs> and he's just he's burning the drinks because he knows he can. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Yeah, it's 3 1. So it takes it 3 1. Alright, so let's see what's, what else is going on. I see Setcher playing Ryan at the moment. Ryan got a wolf throw there. Uh, I think Mister is playing casuals. Alright, so should we do a recap and just let me say who's gone through and whatever? Yes, you go ahead. I need to know though, I can't see. Yeah. So, um, okay, so let's just have a, like, a, a recap. Uh, in the top eight so far, we have Guti versus Chibi Tox. Um, we've just played. No, sorry, this is not the top eight. Yeah, so to play, we still have uh, Chibi Tox versus Guti. That might happen right now. Um, Sidon actually beat Ryan Hart 3 2. So um, he's got the other Japanese player, um, Zanani. Uh, Ash beat King O already. Um, in the losers bracket at the moment, Setra is playing Ryan, Prodigal Son. Uh, Cry uh, beat Rory. That was a run back from the bracket. He managed to take him out this time. Um, G Day is going to have to play the winner of Mr. and Sushi. Yeah, I'll be on the stream on that match. So. And. Yeah. Sushi's the Vanessa player. And the winner of Kalinda and Godel will play Kingo in a round after that. So Ryan Ryan lost to Sidon. Yes. So Sidon is really he's he's, he's come down from Scotland, he's representing at the moment. With L Blaze. Yeah. So and he came down, he said, you know what, I'm just going to rinse Rocket Discharge mix-ups, man. <laughs> and he's, he's actually, he's, he's been doing it, and he's actually been working for him. He's rinsed the Rocket Discharge mix up. he's been blowing people up with them. Yeah, it's just uh, pure Rocket Discharge mix-ups. We had a really close match, me and him. Uh, it's been, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to play again. I want that run back. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and persuade him to put some money down for it or something. I don't know. I know he spent a lot of money to get up here already. So yeah, I hear that. But um, yeah, we just try and look after them. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we're going to have a, a, a very short lull because we've got a number of matches in play at the moment. Um, at the moment, what about... What about this one? Oh, wait for the bigger down attack. So I'm just watching <laughs> Ryan versus Setra here. Okay. So um, I'll just repeat what we have in the bracket for those who you can't see at the moment. S si yeah, Sing Rod in the bracket is Chief Guti. Okay, I asked him why he signed up as Singrod. He said um, he was in Germany. He wasn't sure it was going to make it in time. So, um, yeah. He just uh, wasn't sure he was going to make it. So he thought 
I'll just sign up as a pseudonym. Okay, so this is going to be a good match. We've got Cry versus Chofu, apparently. Ooh. Yeah, this should be a very good match. So, Cry. This is if Cry wins column. this, um, Chofu will be out. Yeah, yeah. good. So <laughs> good. So, um, I'll be rooting for my fellow European brethren, but you know, I'll try to be unbiased as possible as well. Yeah, I was hoping to see Shag, but unfortunately he couldn't make it. So shout out to Shag anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, Shag, Shag is um, a solid dude, man. Well, I'd like to take him out in London, let him do his thing in London. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Shag, Shag is boom. He'd have been great. Yeah. <laughs> you take it to a nightclub or something out here. Yeah. Shag would have been great. He'd have loved it. Uh, next time, Shag, man. Next time. Um, Cobertron's out here. Yeah, he's having a great time. Yeah, yeah, he's really here with cool. his wife, all yeah. the way from you know America. Yeah, from you know. San Fran. Right, and so um, just looking over the other people's shoulders, it looks like the current match between Ryan and Setra is about to be taken by Setra, but we will see. It's very close. Ryan, oh, that's it. I don't know what the score is. Got people no, making like funny faces at us as well. <laughs> All right, so we got Cry versus Trophy. Yeah, and Trophy's using um, Taka. I don't think Trophy knows that Cry <laughs> wants to play Taka. He's, he's like. Cry inside was saying yes. Mm -hmm. Cry is insistent that this matchup is terrible for Taka. He's insistent. He's been insistent for a long, long time. Oh. Um, so we'll see how he does because uh, he's been preparing for Taka. He's, he's been preparing for a long time. He's ready. So uh, I will actually be quite surprised. Who sent Cry to losers? Cry to was sent to losers by Kingo. So, um, now what you can't do against Taka is play Jab Pro. <laughs> because he will lose. Yeah. Uh, so um, there's that string, that mid kick string from uh, Cry from his Lao. He's actually guaranteed a normal hit. Ah, wow. So um, we're going to see a lot of free pick, free KP, and then the follow up of it hit. Twin pistols again. Knocks him down. Finishes the combo. Nice. We're going to go for a throw again. Yep. And it's great. Throw it. See there? Guaranteed. Oh. He's going to have a little bit left. Yeah. Just a little bit. Maybe he's like rinsing it a bit too much. Yeah. Because uh, Chofu knows it's guaranteed. Good jump. Oh. Oh. Really good jump. Oh, wow. If he's just under the top, he yeah. knows. So. Yeah. Chofu knows it's still guaranteed. So he's going to be looking after that now. That's plus seven. Because side turn. And he evades and throws. Chofu just keeping it very simple. Yeah, yeah he's, he's basically playing elbow throw with added in mid twin <laughs> And that is basically all you need with Taka. He, he makes him top tier straight away. Oh. I'm not sure what Cry's going to do here. Okay, like. hey, he wants to go again, straight back in. Okay. Yeah. Ready, go. I, I suppose the stage isn't really going to get any better for him than against this one, with Taka. So they're just poking away at each other, elbows, twin pistons, not. Oh, jabs him out of the mix up, starts mix up. And he's a bit low as well. He's going with the grizzly, like, attack his soul at me for Wolf. Okay, he's gone for that string. I think it's, it's can't be very much on block side turn, but. Um, oh, oh, and wow. a big launcher. Nice guess, there. Very nice guess. So that string as well. So Trophy knows how to sidestep and punish that string. So it's a good string against Taka, but um, he put his response down for it. Good throw escape. Good dark, 2P. And mix up. So that uh, twin nice is, is so teeth because he has to wait <laughs> after the first one. And he's actually going to do nothing. See? Yeah. He will just keep throwing it out. Uh, so surprise adjusted now, he's only mm -hmm. doing the free free kick. Oh, oh, bounce combo here. That's gonna hurt for a lot of damage there. Yeah. He's got his back is against the wall, he rolls out of the way. And back throw. He's not gonna go hit the wall up, so yeah, I understand eating that throw rather than forward one, because that the uh, he it on the throw. And again, yep. It's such a nasty mind game. Yeah, and then oh, oh, really really nice. low. And then uh, that won him the round and he may win him the match, just that. You know, you get in your opponent's head like that. Twin Pistons, hit check. Oh, Chofu doesn't seem to be phased. Nah. 
He's seen this a lot. Oh, wow, well, I mean, he changed the throw. But his back is against the wall, so he's got to be careful here. Yeah? Oh, with the catch throw. And he takes oh, it over. Yeah. That so free choice from the catch throw is uh, it's really tough. So, so, so Kai was close there, or maybe gave himself too much to do. But yeah, yeah, he's adjusting, but also remember these Japanese players, they all adjust very, very yeah. quickly. Um, they're used to tournaments one and off. <laughs> so like they, they try to do their adjustments in the first round and then continue as they go on home. Jab, jab, throw. So. Twin Pistons not hit check there. And then Neutral Throw just to finish it off. Really He's strong side. Yeah. And a good throw. <laughs> the animation for that's hilarious. Another throw. Good throw. Look at the damage. Brings him right back into the game. You're scared to always push a button against Taka because anything's just going to hurt. So, yeah. Nice. Oh, good low attack. And good jab there. Kai's trying to fight his way back. Two P into Grizzly. I don't want to attack oh. school, I'll just call it Grizzly. He looks like a Grizzly. Kai fuzzy guard there yeah. and then Tofu timed his throw. into the wall combo. Oh. I'm sure that's plus and counter hit, so I guess Cry maybe clicked the button. I was worried about another throw maybe. So he's going to take him to the wall from here. One, two, three. Takes him to the wall. Oh, side yeah. turns out. And that might be it. Yeah. That's going to be yeah. it. Wow. Excellent. So Finishes it off. Yeah. Well played, Sophie. So, does that, uh, is that. Um, Cry's been eliminated now, then. I believe so. Yeah. So. It's. A really, 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 really rough loser's bracket. To be honest with you, there's yeah, nothing but anybody you can take out. Everyone, of everyone left in the tournament is killers at the moment. So yeah, um, yeah. So we're just filling out top eight. We're nearly, we're nearly there. So uh, we need uh, who's. In this match, to see I believe it might be B or not so right. Cetra is still playing Ryan. Uh, um, the winner of that will play Chibi Tox, and the winner of that will go through to the top eight in the loser side. Uh, Chofu's just beaten Cry to make it get himself into the top eight on the loser side. Sidon will play the winner of G Day and right this way and Sushi, okay. and I believe it was Sushi who won. So G Day and Sushi will play now. Oh, so they're going on stream now? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So, so, see you guys. Yeah. Um, proper Vanessa Skanks from Sushi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That string, the kick, punch, the backhand. Watch out for the, the kick after that is full circle, half circle or higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, don't push a button. Just duck it and punish it. But the punishment's got to be quick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, when I say sushi, I mean makili sushi. Oh, I'm yawning all over the place, guys, and it's not because I'm bored, it's because I'm tired. I'm actually really excited. Okay, so um, guys, um, when we get to the top eight, uh, the stream isn't being done. It's not going to be finished. We're just going to go on a little break. Um, and that's so we can move our stuff downstairs to the theatre. Okay, um, if you're not here, you are missing out because what we have is this um, venue. I have to say it's fantastic. And we have a massive theatre downstairs. And when I say theatre, I mean a proper theatre with a stage and a massive screen. And then the two players who are playing, they're going to go up there. So they'll be up there, they'll be playing back to back. And um, yeah, and everyone's just gonna be sitting in the theater like you're watching the cinema and watching things happen. It's gonna be so great. We're gonna just watch people get off, basically.
Oh, so I've been joined. Um, so I've been joined here um, by the prodigal son himself, Mr. Ryan Hart. VF, you know, VF is a. Oh, sorry. Hello, everyone. Mike is on now. Thank you. Thank you, Zero EX. Um, yeah, no, I was saying, um, you know, it's, it's nice to see VF get some love, you know what I'm saying? Because VF is a sick game. Everybody knows that. You know, even people who don't play VF rate VF. That's how much, you know, reputation, that's how much of a good reputation yeah. VF has. People know that this is a hard game to get into. It's a real game. It's tough. And uh, anyone that masters it always gets a lot of respect, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's nice to see VF getting some well, love. Well, saying, saying it's tough, I want to clarify that. Because in my own opinion, yeah. I don't think the game is hard to play. Yeah. In the same way, I would say chess isn't hard to play. Oh, no, it's yeah, easy totally, to move totally. a chess piece. Yeah, 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 But yeah. can you play a chess master right. and it's take how it you can how you can use your mind to manipulate your opponent using the tools that VF provides. Exactly. And that is difficult. And that is why anyone that, you know, acquires a level of mastery... I mean, even though VF5 is a little bit easier, even on VF5, that is legit. Because VF5, you know, obviously moves do more damage now. There's supposedly less sort of like psychology that goes into a match because that matches end before that level of psychology comes into it. But it doesn't mean that the game isn't legit just based on that. The game is still a high level game. You need to be super intelligent to actually be able to play this to a high level. Yeah. I mean, if you watch any... Like, you know, if you watch any high-level Japanese match or any, any high-level match full stop, you will see so many different forms of m mentality being expressed. And that's why I've always loved VF because I think VF is, for me, the one game where you can express, m like, the most variations of, of, of yeah. mind game. Yeah, you know, it's, the it's, most it's variations. how you play. And right, so I, I like that. I really appreciate it. At the that. moment, we've got um, CC2. Yeah, sorry, back to the match, guys. My bad, my bad. Um... <laughs> So yeah, um, Mac Mackie Lesishi, first yep. I've heard of that guy. French player, yep. new, new player. Oh, yep. G-Day's been working on that max damage combo against me, oh. my Vanessa. <laughs> really? Yeah, because right. um, people right. know I sub Vanessa. Um, right. Everyone knows Joe Misashi, UK, let's go. Yep. Bring it back, that's it. So, But even in life here at the end, Vanessa trying to close it. Round right. three here. Oh, nice escape from Jade. Can you bring nice it back though? He's making some space now. A range game. He's still got some time, no need to rush. Oh, and Vanessa gets the elbow and it's... Is that it? Is that's, that one nil? That's one nil. That's one nil, okay. So that's, the, that's the first... Um, um, let's see, she's got a really intense look on his face. He's asking for a stage change. Uh, Jide's uh, uh, like, nope, we're I know good. exactly what Jide said. He said, again. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back, says Jide. All right, so second game now. Let's go. Same stage, no changes. Okay. So Tsushi's playing a uh, defensive style, Vanessa. Mm. Now, in my opinion, not as strong as the offensive stance. Oh, but, really? Um, yeah, yeah. She has a, a attributes. Good throw game. Yep, yep, Lots yep. of sabakis. Oh, nice combo from Jude there. Yeah, and really low nice. tech, so he gets the gets stomp. Down attack as well. And Jude throws it around and says, get out of my ring. This is my ring. And really good evade from Sushi there into the back throw. Can and that's you, um, 70 damage. Oh, can you put any face paint on Go's head so he looks like a member of the Blue Man group? Um, I think that, he does that, have a possible? blue mask, but it's not... Yeah? Oh, wow, that's sick. It's not bright blue. Yeah. And then Vanessa, she's got a unique uh, wake-up option. So she can go into oh, her ground man. stance as you knock her down. Oh, Sushi dear. just used that catch G-Day on the... Yep, she ties it up, one round piece here, the second and, game. Um, I wish I wasn't commentating because Sushi has Chibi Tox in his way <laughs> helping him. And um, I wish I could stand You want to run over and help... I, I kind of do because I know support. Vanessa very well and I could just tell him how to blow her Yo, up. if you want to run over there, I can hold it down on the stream. It's not a problem at all. If you want to be in Jude's ear, you run over there, man. No, I'm, I'm going to stay here, Okay, man, okay, that's what's up. I'm just letting you know that. Because he didn't help me at Evo. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'm going like, to like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, right on, right he's, on, he's, on, he's on his own. Okay, okay. No, he can, he can, he can do Jude, this. one hit away now. Yeah, he can do this. Oh, no, he gets a throw. No, he's not dead. He's still alive. He's just got to take his time. And it's next to him now. He takes a Closes it out. Full and this is tight, man. Mid. Vanessa bringing it back here. Jude yep. is going to have to step it up a notch, man. Good duck, but eats the Sabaki. Uh -oh. Back throw again. It's only plus four. That takes bare damage, boy. Or ask Oriental City 9, NW9, but I'll tell you. Combos. Oh, Good new throw back, edge. but puts it to the edge. Oh, oh that and that's a really, really nice neat. trick. Yeah, and Jide elbow. closes it out. Jide should have had the game, but he just got caught out in the last round and allowed Sushi to bring it back. Yep. Final round. Representing with oh, the BF3. And he got counter here. counter here. I Ooh. think he tried to two piece, a special high. Yeah. And he went for the damage, took the neutral. Okay. Knee, no counter hit there. And Jide pushing Sushi to the ring edge. 
That's it. And that is going to be it. One, spiked one. Him. He spiked him like it was <laughs> Smash Brothers or something. Round of applause here from the UK supporters. Yeah, so they want to see their boy go through. It's one all at the moment. Um, yeah. I think Jude will grow into this. Uh, Sushi's Vanessa is different from my Vanessa, obviously. Right. But right. Jude is used to fighting Vanessa. Okay. okay. Um, so he should know. Really like what the character's got in their lo her locker. Vanessa's a really strong character, definitely, but you should definitely. be you should be ready for that. Yep. Jude uh preparing mentally here. Getting ready for this third game. He knows this is an important match. I know it's best to fight, but you wanna have the lead. You don't wanna be on a deficit. If he if he loses again, yeah. I'm gonna get up on yeah, all right, right, all right. That, that's, the yeah. that's the deal. You if he loses again you forgive him for evil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, good, now. Good, no there. hesitation there, free PP. Stops the flow from Vanessa. And that's the move. Oh, once, you're, once Vanessa's at plus four, that's, that's left side. Bare life, babe. Yeah, and that's not even a max damage combo. And that's it. Oh my days. Wow. All right. So he's switched to offensive style now. So it's a bit different, yep, different games. Like, up. Now instead of a defensive Sabaki orientated character, we've got an offensive character who yep. wants to Abare. Fights a bit like oh, Jackie. Wow. Yeah, her defensive style works much like a stance, you know, if any characters don't know about Vanessa, it's like a, you have a stance with a character where you have a different move set, different set of throws. Yeah, so it's like two characters yeah, in one. Yeah. And Jude not looking too hot this round, he's going to really need... Oh, dear. So, so that's the that, uh, PG to take it. The round. That's plus six on block. Oh, wow, is. nice. So Jude knows that, but Big whether he remembers turn. it, so she switched back into defensive stance again good now. 70% gone now, and it's not looking good here. All right, so and I'm going to go over and speak right. to him. Hold OK, me. I'm going to have to hold it down on myself, guys. Uh, sorry, you got stuck with me now. But <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, so basically, you know, Jude is going to probably go for a stage change here because he definitely got rushed down in that match, and he didn't have space to move around and create the openings he wanted to. So I think that he, I'm, I might be wrong here, but I think he's going to go for a stage change. I know he's sticking with Go, um, and I do believe that if he has a bigger stage where he can work with space, I think he can bring it back. But the momentum, at least on this stage, is definitely with Sushi. You saw what happened. I mean, Sushi just ran all over him that game, and, you know, he has the momentum now, and he's going to have it momentarily going into the next match just based on what happened this match. So, um... But yeah, um, is it Marley? Marley, who's over there? Yeah, Marley's over there. He's forgiven him for Evo. He said, we're going to put the past behind us. And uh, he's gone over there to give Jude some coaching as Chibitox is doing sushi as well. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see if his coaching is, uh, well, if he's coaching him correct, you know? You know what I'm saying, bro? That good coaching. You know what I mean? That good coaching by that Pat Riley, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh dear so here we go Marley is back in the booth with me and he has given him some tips what did you tell him what did you um, what did you tell him numbers basically friends. okay okay yeah. so, so there's a few things he didn't know yeah so there's he, a few yeah. things he wasn't aware of so I'll, I'll let him know I mean, right. he knows the character fairly well, yeah, but it, yeah. if you don't know frames and stuff like that, sometimes you can get caught out by stuff. We've yeah. seen him getting okay. caught out by certain special highs All right. and things. So, so um, we have seen a stage change, just as I predicted. Side throw escape there from so Vanessa. That's, that's plus three on block. Yep, Vanessa with the life lead now. Jude trying to put pressure Vanessa to get some damage, but denied this round, and it is first round sushi. And uh, yeah, Jude is really on the back foot right now. He's gonna have oh, to. Uh, good oh, good Sabaki. Right, very nice Sabaki. Couldn't make a lot of it though. Could have got more than that. And nice sidestep there. Oh, we are stepping today. We are stepping. Good two P there. And again, that death side. Uh, it's a lot of damage. Eight damage clean. That's from a safe special high yeah. half circular. So. Oh, sorry guys. If you didn't know, Joe Musashi is indeed Jude. For those yes. who are wondering, who's, who's he talking about? Who's Jude? Yeah. <laughs> Joe Musashi is his, oh, uh, his handle. His, his yeah, tag, yeah, yeah, it's his handle. He's also Shinobi. Mm. All right, so this is match point sushi here. It's all to play for right now. It's match point. If he wins this, yep. I believe oh, this is a loser. So, uh, yeah, Jude is going to be out if he doesn't bring this one back. Yeah, again, oh, the death side. That is just such good damage for a move like that. Oh, PG, good, good read on the stand. That's guaranteed. Oh, he no, this is it. Oh, he escapes it. Good is he going to bring it back? Oh, I oh, would have liked to have seen a comeback. That would have been yeah. so hyped. We needed more knees from Jude. And Sushi jumping up and down. He is ecstatic here. Yeah, he is I mean, so happy. He's, he's, um, 
he's had a few matches where he's <laughs> gone through just I've I mean that him, one was more convincing I've than seen a lot him of the other get two. up and jump up and down in yeah, the guy's face I mean if I have to play that guy and he does that to me <laughs> I, I, will, I will actually shake his hand because that, that you can't you can't hate on that he's, 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 he's enjoying he's himself hype. he's celebrating yeah he's enjoying himself and I'm up guys so I'll leave you with Molly and peace out yeah so um Mackie representing for Vanessa really it's so Chibi Tox is already there. He's, he was the person hang, handing over. Um, no, um, you had my stick. It's there. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, Ryan versus uh, Chibi Tox. Yeah, this is that's right. The winner of this play is Trophy in top eight. Oh, Sushi needs to play again, right? All right. I wonder if anyone is going to join me on the commentary team. Okay, so we have. I oh, was doing a button check. Yeah, rather than do it on the select screen because that's just brass, isn't it? Who does that? They're gonna do it in the game. I think they're trying to sort out who's player one, who's player two. All right, so it looks like they're ready. Um. Mark, can you help me out? They're trying to sort out the uh, players. I think someone's plugged their stick in and it's gone up with player three. Um. Do you want to see if you can find anyone to join me on the commentary? Yeah, he's going to need a bit of time. Do you know where um, the other guy who was with me here before? Who is? Chris. Yeah. We we'll try and find myself a partner for the stream. Uh, let's see who's still in this. Um, oh, he's still in. Oh, he's, he's guaranteed. Oh yeah, red is definitely the color of the day. And King O has bare wires. He has just got wires and wires and wires look at that that's all his he's got two pads he's just got untold wires so they're still sorting it out ryan is using my stick actually so i'm wondering if this my stick that's you giving him problems whether i should go over and sort of sort out my stick but I'm sure it'll be alright hold on I'm gonna go and have a look
Alright, say that again. Mix the, no, yeah, uh, Tiki Top. Oh, so yeah, is Gucci saying he played against Tiki Top earlier? How did that go? He was very unlucky in, in uh, I think he was used to the Xbox Live thing, so he had guaranteed damage after uh, his, uh, you know, his guard break. Yeah. And he tried to do back back kick punch, and he yeah. registered back back punch plus kick. So he oh. did this like three or four times. Okay, yeah. So he lost the round, it was very unfortunate. Gucci. Yeah, I, play, I played -T -T against Chibi Tops and he was very unlucky. It was like he was pressing punching kick almost simultaneously. Is his mic on? Is this Instead of going on? back back kick and then hit him. I can't hear you properly. Are you hurt? Alright, test it again. Speak. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay, so um, Guru is saying that Chibi Talks has been a bit unlucky. He was trying to do uh, back back kick P plus K um, after the guard break and he was getting back back P plus K. Um, and. Or back P plus K. The, yeah, the double, -handed yes, thing. double hand thing. So yeah, so back obviously I backdashed to block it, or you know I got guarantee damage and stuff. Yeah. If you whiff. So I uh, hope he's been in practice mode and done back back kick, like yeah, because uh, because he might actually have lost him the whole the whole match. We were pretty close, and he had that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm guessing um, he's not quite used to um, the lagless timing. Yeah. So that you might can play be offline, but issue. when you play on the lagless monitor, it's a bit different. Yeah. And we're into the match. Um, oh. Protocol Sun, Ryan's carrying the advantage Very at the fine. moment. And they're just poking at each other, really. Ryan blocks blows really, really well. Uh, this is good against Lewin, obviously. And he's a professional gamer on the side, so he's constantly having his <laughs> reaction the, skills. On know. the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the side. <laughs> we'll see if Ryan seems to be checking yeah, you know, um, uh, TV Talks is responsible yeah, after loads and stuff. I, I'm interested yeah. to see what he does in terms of combos in this match because a common um, sort of comment about Ryan's play is that he's still playing EVO. Like, he's playing EVO in Final Showdown really, really well. Yeah. And he just beats people in Final Showdown whilst playing EVO. It's, it's like, you know, because he doesn't know the moves enough in the beginning of the match to, to, to win, but then after two or three rounds, he's learnt your play style and that's enough for him yeah. to, to, to win the rest. Yeah, so we can block and uh, punish everything basically. Um, so we see, uh, neutral throw. I mean, Chibi Talks obviously a very good gamer as well. Punch, kick, punch. So Leon very strong when he side turns you, which is off every single evade. Oh, that was unlucky. Yeah. Like, super good damage. Is this? Yeah, yeah it that. it. that's going to be it. Yeah, down 2 attack. 1 in rounds. Chibi Talks is good. Another France against England match here. Yeah. There he has taking it. it. Yep, so that's the back dash. That move's actually quite evasive. Back back kick. Blocks oh, yeah. the elbow and it follows up with three people. Oh, that one's uh, delayed. That one's very strange because it's a mid move and you always automatically zoom after mid move, a high is going to come out. So you sometimes crouch oh, it's, that. It's high mid. It's high mid, yeah. yeah. It's it's the opposite of what you're used to in any yeah. type of VF game. It's a half circular yeah. high as well, so the, it's really good, and yeah. you can cancel it into the stance as well. So it's a bit of a tricky move. Um, the mid, I think, is quite safe, fairly safe where it is. Right. Oh, low punch me. Try to get sweep. Just a dragon punch. Now I know Ryan can do the full dragon punch combo, so it looks like he didn't even attempt it there. Uh, really good luck there after. Four, four, okay. Let's see and if throw. um if tries to kick cancel oh. throw. Chuba talks ducks it and side throw. Oh, that's good. Yeah. We'll see what what you learned from uh, the first match. Sweeps to start with. And there we have it. it. Ten foot. That's, that's our right first one. Yeah. Into a wall. Is he gonna dodge against the uh, his front now to avoid the half circular kick? That's uh, Rana's kick. It's going to be very interesting to see. You need to dodge in Kage's oh, interesting. front there. Oh, that was very good. Yeah. Very he was clever. prepared to block uh, and escape the throw from the side there. And PPP to yeah. win it. Oh, back dash. And he gets in side turn. Oh, and delayed follow up with the string. And there's that slight backdash into 3 PP. Now Ryan's been doing that one for years. I saw a notice him doing it after punch kick as well. He backdashes and then he goes immediately into that one to see yeah. if you do a dodge or anything to try and get you. So that was the first 
Was that the first match then? Yeah. That's the second match. The no, second match really. was just one all. Yeah. Go! one all for you. So neutral throw from Chibi Tox. Rising kick lands counter oh, hit. Well, box. And the second mid kick lands. Now, when Ryan's at the end there, yeah, you can't really afford to take any more hits. Oh, oh. Nearly, nearly finishes it. Oh, and, and that is the Ryan Hart special. <laughs> he, will, he does not give a damn. He will throw that move out. If your back is to the wall or he's, uh, the round is about to end, he'll just use it. There you see, yeah, he's been practicing now. He got he got the um, guarantee damage with the backpack kick there. He was missing that against me, so obviously he's been in practice mode confirming. The round goes into the stance, so where's the rising kick for Tilly Tops? Oh, he was missing that. He saw the direction he was going and he... Back throw. So he just, one yeah. more hit for either person. He doesn't punish the, the sweep fully, but he gets it in the end. PPPK. Oh, nice right. launch of the counter hit. Close to the corner. He's gonna. Oh, yes, and a nice beautiful. wake up move. Not the rising kick. Oh, no, it's very close it. again. Really close round. That's minus 15. Oh. Only punishes with a jab, but he gets it in the end. Blocks the low. And for it to just both. Side so throws, you gonna go for it? Yeah, Ryan just back to his back. Well, he oh, went for good. the 10 foot toss there, I Guaranteed believe. Damage, and he was knocked out of it. Ooh, that's, that came from nowhere. There and again. that kick is really good that he hit with at the end. Yeah, that's good. Up. And then, um, like, uh, Shiba Pai was also saying during the training videos, he was saying, similar to against Lao, you have to continue dodging in the direction okay. where the kick ends, and then you can uh, evade the setups and his catch throw if you immediately do evade the catch throw. Right. Right. So they're so all these So you probably got more from those videos than I did, because I was just trying to watch. <laughs> yeah, because it was in Japanese. Yeah. So uh, there was a lot of, you know, you know, comment, comments around why you did this and that. Yeah. And that was the thing, you know, he was basically okay, showing training. that you can, as, as long as the opponent doesn't cancel or anything and tries to throw you after cancelling yeah. or delays or anything, then you can escape all, all those. And similar to like Lao, you see where the direction of the kick and then you continue dodging after that in, in that direction and then crouch dash and you can yeah. avoid the setups as well as crouching time for the, for the catch throw. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, goes for the, the low crush. It gets hit out of it. Oh, oh that move missed. I don't know why. That's really unfortunate when stuff like that happens. Uh, oh, normal hits. And he chooses and to do that attack into uh, 1k. Move. Really good move. And no tech from Ryan, so he gets caught combo. Oh, they were the case the counter. Whoa, that was good. Nice no, combo. So TV puts us on top at the moment. This is when Ryan plays well at the end there. He needs to yeah. use his Yomi now. That's when he's good. He's not a player affected by pressure, so... Well, not the same way as everyone else, anyway. Yeah, now, now he, he, he's playing... Like, it's all thinking behind his uh, strategies now. He does, doesn't follow the pattern or anything. Oh, a nice backdash into a low. And again, the low. Now, again, I don't think Ryan knows final showdown no, that no. well. So those Definitely. kind of things, that yeah. stance with Leon, is probably quite new to him. You know, that was the thing about, you know, him before in, uh, in Vanilla. You know, he was terrible. He didn't have any mids, so you can just crouch everything. Now <laughs> you have to continually, you know, crouch mid. And then now, that's why his, his lows are powerful now. Because yeah. you actually have to stand mid. And, he is really, uh, really good in this game. Kick, punch, kick. Oh, oh he takes nice. it. Still oh, really close. He's still in this. Oh, oh. doesn't hit confirm, so. Should have done a better uh, guaranteed damage there. To be taught. Oh, that was good. Let's see if we can do uh, some Okizema here. 
he can avoid his... Oh, and he's too far away for the combo, just about. Answer. Good block, punch kick. No, he goes for a throw. Yep, the throw is guaranteed, but um, it's a bit too... So Chibi Tox, so good escape. he's still in the game. Strong. Chibi Tox takes it, and I believe knocks out Ryan. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. So Ryan is out. Goes out and loses bracket. Are you sure? Okay. And uh, yeah, Dark Soul is he's online. He's watching uh, Leon play. So what yeah. about this match? And you got Shag heel kick. Um. Are you sure? Um. Side on and uh. Yeah. Side on and Maki Lisushi. Okay. So um, how long? How long? Okay, so we've got a raffle coming up, um, which they're going to show, and then we will be moving downstairs. So what I would say is probably just stay with us, because um, when we go downstairs, that's where things will happen properly. Right. Okay. So every match is played. Now... Ladies and gentlemen, we now have our top eight. Oh, top eight. For your viewing pleasure, we now have the raffle, the finals, a little delayed. So, um... For those who can't see uh, the top eight, I believe we have um, Guti here versus uh, Itabashi Zangi. Yeah. Uh, Zanani versus uh, Ash. So uh, this is uh, two Japanese players playing. We will have um, Shibi Tox versus uh, Chofu, KK Sero. And we have Maki Lisushi. He's done really, really well playing off against Kingo. Whoa. Uh, you need to kind of like tell them what's, what's happening. And I've already said. Yeah, so how long are we going off for? Okay, so we're going to go off, guys, if you're watching, until half seven. So that is exactly um, 36 minutes and 30 seconds, pretty much. Okay, so... so we're getting on the big stage now with yeah, the Yeah, we're going the on the big and stage, everything. and um, okay. it is awesome. You're going to love it. All right. Well, you'll be on stage. We actually yeah, that's why you're going to love it. You're going <laughs> to be on stage. I'm going to do commentary with someone else. You're going to be on stage yeah. with the spotlights on you. That means I've got at least two matches now. Still. Yes. Yeah. At least, <laughs> at two, least matches two matches. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Amazing. so we're off. We're signing up.